How's it going guys? My name is Alex. Good evening. And welcome to a new video. Konami is dropping new packs, but today I wanted to do something different. I wanted to actually take a look at your squads entering if football 2024 will be having so much fun with our new packs, new players. Obviously, this is the pack that is available right now. Should you be going for this pack? It's ultimately your decision. I think it depends on how exactly you have built your team at this point. So I assume some of you guys probably have uh, pulled Delict and uh, there is obviously a lot of versions of Delict. I'm just comparing it to one of the basic kind of like featured cards. Uh, obviously not basic, but it's like one of the most popular featured cards, I think. And now you see that these cards are very similar. Some stats are better on the cards on the right. Uh, obviously the card on the right is actually better and it depends whether you need to bolster your team with any of the players I will not be going into this pack just because I don't need any of these players My team is set. My team is actually looking very juicy and I'm sharing that on my discord uh, I'm sharing the squad builders and I added a few additional skills to my Cristiano Ronaldo on the left. Gets his pass away Cristiano Ronaldo! He scores! Well, all of these clips you can find on my Discord and you can share yours too. And that is where the idea sprung to my mind. Uh, how about I make a squad review uh, video so that you send me your squads and I take a look at them. I was surprised by how many people have submitted their squads. And this is the part one video. If you enjoy this type of video, start with 500 likes within like uh, first few days. And then if I understand that you guys are interested, I will be doing part two because there's a lot of squads that you have submitted and I realistically cannot review all of them and do this like uh, in a concise manner, but uh, I'll try my best. So this is 4-1-4-1, a very, very fun uh, formation for me. I, I think one of the most solid formation defensively and it is uh, dependent on the playstyle. If that's long ball counter uh, or quick counter, that can be a very, very dangerous team to face. He has a Reynild and Kimmich to solid uh, right and left backs more defensive minded I would say. I assume that Blood is not considering goals at all considering like he has also Curto in goal from the Spanish La Liga pack and the attack is looking dangerous as well. That Pedri card is so so special. It's not a whole player though but it's still a fantastic card and then Dennis Lowe is deadly. His headers, his jump is amazing and he can cross it. Uh, pinpoint crossing is on Dembele. It isn't on Vinicius I think. I don't think Vinicius has pinpoint crossing. So maybe add pinpoint crossing on Vinicius and spam uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't play long balls or you don't cross the ball, this is amazing team. And the best part, it is a free-to-play team. And this team can easily be getting into Division 1, I'm telling you. Uh, next one has Renilda too. Like, this is a free-to-play teams are obviously uh, my favorite. I think this was a lucky pull. Okay, so yeah, it, it seems like it's a free-to-play team. Very, very solid. Very good. Uh, Barella as like an uh, orchestrator, I believe. Rodri as an anchor man. And then that's amazing. Team. I can't really suggest anything. Like you guys are submitting me perfect teams. I, I want I want to correct you, but I can't. <laughs> you see, Sergio Ramos is playing. Uh, very interesting. Uh, this is like, it can be kind of questionable because Alaba doesn't have heading and acrobatic clearance as far as I'm concerned. So you either want to have aerial superiority or heading on your center back. If not, acrobatic clearance is also kind of cool. But uh, that Alfonso Davis is actually performing very well against me, although I discarded this card. I just don't really rate his defensive stats. He's also only a good dribbler. His passing is mediocre. He has been point crossing, so boosting his passing to at least 80 and try crossing, maybe it will work, who knows. Then we have Pavar as a right back and then we're attacking. This is where uh, you would want to uh, like pressure your opponent and like suffocate uh, them with this formation on their own part of the beach. Because like if your opponent is crossing the halfway line, you're done. So, like you're exposed and the attacking midfielders cannot defend. Bruno kind of can defend and Pedri maybe too. Like it's not really box to box players who's going to be doing the uh, dirty work for you, right? Dembele is amazing though, Ronaldo is vantage passing and that Ronaldinho uh, big time card. Even though his stats are pretty much similar to the carryover legendary iconic card, it's still a fantastic card to have on your team. If you give him double touch, you are Gucci fam. Gan Gan, Gan Gan, ice cream, so cold. We have Unes' team and this is a goofy formation that I made a, like a short video. Uh, revealing how you can play this formation. I, it, I think it's used long ball or quick counter very well, but you can even play possession with this one. It's a really weird formation. I didn't have a lot of success, but maybe that's because I was playing uh, the showdown event and that was extremely rigged. Speaking about that defense, 
Uh, I think that a Rikert can be a liability. He has no heading skills, right? But he is kind of tall. I don't know how it works. Is he is he clearing headers for you? If not, add a heading skill on him. Um, a little bit kind of attacking right and left infielders. And the problem is this formation that they are really deep, right? Really deep. Like, it's not like you're playing 3-2-3-2. Three, two, three, two. And they are playing as a right and left backs. And how good are Iniesta and Son as right and left backs? That's the question. We are reviewing a squad that is uh, playing, uh, and I think that's uh, advanced, uh, four, one, two, three. And he's converting attacking midfielders to center midfielders just to be a little bit more safe. And that is a good decision, I think. Uh, because like when you have Davids, Davids is the card that I really, really want in this game. Uh, the only question is Bernardo Silva, are you cutting inside and trying to curl it with his left foot? Did you build him for that, right? Because if you have, I see that you out allocated points on Bernardo Silva. That means that his finishing is around 70, 72 for you. And is it good enough? Does he have the curl? Because when I trained my Bernardo Silva, he's 94 rated, right? He's kind of thing is that I trained him incorrectly. But the thing is, I gave him passing and dribbling in 90s, and I gave him finishing in 80, and he is scoring the screamers for me. And I gave him two additional shooting skills as well. So, I mean, that's that's the only question, how you build this Bernardo Silva, because if you're, you've are built him for passing, then playing him as a right wing forward to, to like do the through balls and do the crosses on say, Mobile on his weaker foot is also not the good decision, I think. But if you're cutting inside, trying to curl from short distance, I think he should be working. The Balkan Chad uh, is a, oh, that's an owner of a very, very solid team. That's a team full of big time players, including um, let's Leo Messi from the uh, pack backs will be crossing into Mbappe. I mean, that's beautiful. And I think you're playing quick counter. This formation quick counter is suiting it very well. And uh, yeah, I think it's a very nice team. Uh, next one, uh, Demi NG is uh, also uh, actually a owner of a few visionary pass uh, players. I wonder how it works for you. Let me know in the comments because like, for the visionary pass, it's a uh, very interesting mechanic. It was introduced recently. I've seen a few Japanese gurus making reviews on these players, and it kind of kind of works very interesting in a way where you are passing the ball, and visually it looks like a normal pass. But the striker or whoever is going to be taking the shot with this uh, after this pass has like an increased probability of scoring the goal. It's very weird. It's kind of looking like you're hacking the game, uh, but. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what you're paying for. Better passing, uh, better goal, better chances to score a goal. And uh, there's good defenders, Ruben Diaz and Maldini. 100 and 101 rating. You can say goodbye to 100 ratings, by the way, very soon when the playstyle proficiency uh, will be not a thing anymore. And all of the players will be downgraded to like 96 overall or like whatever is their nominal rating is. But that team is looking very nice. Ola, uh, the MVP of the server. That Alfonso Davis is like the only card. I mean, if it works for you, I just don't rate him at all. I just don't understand what he's. He's not good at defense. He's not good at passing. Like, what, what's he's there for, right? But if he works for you, that's great. Uh, I would be playing Maldini here and playing another center back. Do you have another good center back, though? I don't see him, right? Maybe, yeah, maybe that's a problem. Uh, the Milan versions of uh, Epic cards, I think the club versions of Epic packs are better because you are you're supposed to be using these players in events right so if there is a italian league event you can finally use your big time player the value of these big time cards when they're released with club affiliation but other than that this team is stacked this team is amazing and uh i think a few hundred dollars were spent into this team but i mean that's the thing like if you're enjoying the game there is nothing wrong with that it's just like don't look at me that i'm not spending i'm spending just because you guys are saying me to uh, not uh and it's just like i kind of enjoy the journey i enjoy the journey of building a team uh, step by step and just so that you know uh the players these big time players are not going to be winning your game you need to apply some effort for that okay and uh this for one for one another very solid formation with a few big time players the Ronaldinho card like i said it's not even worse than your uh, big time card of Ronaldinho, just because you need to apply the context is the only probably downside. The stats are very, very similar. You should be checking, looking into that. And of course, you need to apply some for the playstyle proficiency, some points, but you will never need to be doing that. That Pedri card on the left, you can play him as an attacking midfielder, center midfielder. That's a whole player Pedri. He's going to be making the runs for you, even if you're not playing quick counter or long ball counter. Uh, this is a very solid team. Rudiger and Delict. Uh, that's a base card of Delict. And it's already 
already the team is stacked. And I, I just, I can't really criticize, right? There's nothing wrong with your team. Like, give me something wrong with about their team. And um, yeah, another very, very solid team, uh, Diaby on the bench as an impact, super sub. I don't remember if he has the skill, but that figure is cracked. And I added so many different skills on him. I made him perform a special double touch. I made him, um, I gave him through path in two. So it's a fantastic card with a few addition, additional skills. It's probably my favorite card in the game. And there is your Christian Ronaldo up front. Uh, good thing that you're getting this card with 365 days of contract. Who knows whether Konami is going to be releasing a better card of Cristiano Ronaldo anytime soon. And um, a few players on your bench. I would be starting Kunde instead of Alaba just because Kunde has all defensive skills. Kunde has heading, aerial uh, superiority. I doubt that Alaba has both unless you train that on him. And Delict is also uh, worth a shout. You can start him. But uh, I would start one fast center back like Kunde or Alaba, or with uh, skills, with other skills, or play Alaba as a left back. The only downside to this uh, team is that this defensive midfielder, I have exactly same uh, Tanali card. And the problem is that he's lacking physicality. So my Chomini has aerial superiority and he's winning all of the headers. And every time he's barging into players, he's coming out as a winner. I felt like when I was playing against similarly um, ranked opponents with Tanali and with Chomini, and I noticed that Tonali is losing a lot of physical battles. And I'm not saying you really need that in your defensive midfielder, but it's preferable to have like good physicality and good heading abilities. And now finally a team that I can criticize. Like why do you play Pedri as a center midfielder in defensive midfielder spot? He is definitely the AI is built in this game that any player, even Messi, Messi is actually one of the best tacklers in this game. They can tackle, of course. But it's much better to have, like, I understand that you have so many attacking players and you want to fit all of them in one team, but sometimes it's really good when you have a balanced team. And remember, you always have the second half and I make all my subs in the second half. And that's why I can enjoy players uh, from uh, my starting eleven and from the bench equally. And I don't know what uh, do you have, whom do you have on your bench, but I would be playing someone who is actually defending here because you're gonna be getting exposed you're gonna be conceding goals and then it's a trouble like you see Barrios over here he is cementing this team in the middle like this is a very solid backline I, I like the fact that you have uh, proactive wingers or uh, fullbacks and that's Brahim Diaz as a creative playmaker in right wing forward spot which is okay it's understandable uh, you can play Cruyff here instead but Brahim Diaz as a left footer it's good because he can curl and otherwise, it's a very good team, free to play team, very, very nice. Uh, a few more teams and I'll be calling in today because I'm already dragging in for way too long. People were frustrated with Pulin and Brazini uh, from the free try, from the epic cards. And I must say that you shouldn't be. It's one of the best defensive midfielders. I made a, like a training guide with uh, um, with uh, eFootball Universe and he was rating this card very much. I didn't get a chance to try it, but I believe him. And uh, based off stats, he's really, really good. And uh, you have him, Messi and Cruyff. Where are attacking? Maybe one box-to-box -box wouldn't be uh, bad. Mbappe on the right though, like, and he doesn't have outside curler as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what's the situation with his weak foot. You're going to be ending in a position when he's trying to curl, but he's using his right foot and it is an awkward animation and goalkeeper is saving these shots and it's the game is all about animations so unless you're trying to cross palm it to Ronaldo which is also not a good because Mbappe's passing is not really exceptional right so what I would be doing I would be playing Mbappe on the left playing Pedri as an attacking midfielder and maybe Messi on the right unless you're not satisfied with Messi's pace maybe then change the formation to something with uh, two strikers, right? You can play Ronaldo and Mbappe as two strikers and have like 4-3-1-2 formation or something of the... Uh, maybe a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two also would be nice. And then you'll be able to actually um, get the most of your team. Ragazzi, tre belle equipo. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, this is uh, very, very nice. Uh, I think that uh, Labotka and Iniesta are a good pairing. You will be losing a lot of headers in the middle. So when goalkeeper is hoofing the ball or like if there is a fight, uh, aerial duel in the middle of the park, you'll be losing a lot because Labotka is not tall. Iniesta is not really good physically. Uh, but your defensive line, maybe will be compensating for that. Where attack and formation, 
if it works for you, that's good. Um, it, it just like, I really like this formation as well. Very unique, very, very fun. All right, let's see this Italian team. Uh, I see this uh, Italian defenders and uh, from the pack that was available for the World Cup. And that's Pedri on the left wing forward. Um, interesting, interesting decision. I don't, I don't mind it. Uh, I would rather play Neymar there, but knowing that this Neymar is nerfed and he doesn't have the pace, so advantage passing in between these two players and maybe some skill moves and you can just curl into the box or just pass to Mbappe. Otherwise, very solid team. I think it's a free-to-play team. If it is, congratulations, you've built yourself a fantastic team. This Jorginho, I don't really, I'm not sure about the Jorginho. I, I think I was uh, going for Zinchenko from that Arsenal pack and I discarded Jorginho from, because I didn't really need another defensive midfielder like him. I would rather be playing someone really I mean, you don't even have anyone, right? So that's the area you would probably would want to improve, like a good defensive midfielder, either as a substitute for Jorginho. If Jorginho works for you, that's fine. But I would be playing someone really good physically who can fight for the ball, fight for the headers. And that Mitoma card is a bowler. And that Di Maria card, I've tried it a few times. It's a really nice card. Playing him on the right is a little bit tricky. If you don't cross, uh, it's better because you're going to be cutting inside, maybe taking a curler. Let's see next. Actually, I'm reviewing the, the, the ones that I ask you guys to reply to my messages. So I'm reviewing the ones that you used to see reply. This one, uh, you need to train your cowards. And the problem is like why people are having 8 million GPs. Explain to me how at this stage of the season you have so much GPs when you can use these GPs to legacy transfer any skill move on any player and improve your team. Like 8 million GPs, you can even buy five Ansufatis, release them and use this as a training tokens and train your cowards. You don't need to uh, stay uh, with uh, play with untrained players. Maybe that's some kind of uh, used as a script technique. I don't know. Maybe it works for you. But regardless, I think that uh, this team is extremely attacking and it will be you'll be conceding a lot of goals. Uh, improving this team is easy. You just need to change formation. <laughs> I used this formation for a few games, I must say, and I enjoyed it. Very attacking, but it's equally it's very su susceptible to um, conceding goals. So what I was doing, I was playing left and right back in this left and right midfielder positions. You can also switch those positions to center midfielders and play someone like a box-to-box -box Goretzka, for instance, and you have them, right? You can play Goretzka on the right, Cancelo on the left, or vice, actually Cancelo on the right, Goretzka on the left, because Cancelo has the compatibility for the right midfielder spot, not the left midfielder spot. And that would be a little bit more defensive, a little bit more secure. But I understand that you want a lot of attackers and you want to like, this is the problem. Like people want to fit all of their attacker players in the starting lineup, which is sometimes not really the best decision. Uh, but if it works for you, like who am I to judge, right? Except for me being the best player alive. I, I mean, I'm, I'm very humble as well. So there you go. This is another team uh, with uh, Tenali as a Newcastle player now, as a new transfer. And Marquinhos, that is a very good, this this square, I like it. I like it so much. This is extremely hard to pass, right? This Tanale card, he's good, not really good physically, but this Marquinhos card is compensating for that. And then you have Nesta with vantage passing, Nesta with like all defensive skills. And ex ex the same goes for Kunde, whom you, I think you, I see that you auto allocated points, which is good if it works for you. I mean, who am I to judge, right? I just didn't auto allocate. I trained him a little bit differently. Same goes for Cancelo. If you like uh, 199 numbers, then this uh, auto allocating process is for you. If it works for you, that's great. That's uh, good to know. Uh, and uh, final two teams. Uh, that will be all for today. I will be reviewing the rest of the teams in the part two. Uh, make sure you drop in a like and uh, share it with your friends and maybe uh, join in the server and uh, share in your teams there as well. This is the team where you have this uh, unaffiliated Cristiano Ronaldo, a little bit worse than other featured cards of Ronaldo and a little bit worse than you would usually see, like the legendary card of Ronaldo. You are prolonging a few legends. I see that Del Piero and Beckham, you're using the contracts on them. Fair enough. Is this like, but the other issue is that you're using the contracts on these legends, right? And you're benching them. So I think you need probably to reconsider unless you have like an abundance of these contracts and it's not a problem. Because like if I were to use a legendary card and use the contracts on this card and I don't have a lot of contracts, I would rather be starting that legend, right? I would be rather ensuring that I'm starting that legend. Otherwise, if you're good with your teams, the players that you have already in your starting level, 
maybe your bench isn't really needing the, these carryover legends. Like, how are you sending me screenshots of your teams with 7 million GPs? This is a crime. It's criminal. Same here, 4 million GPs. Are you serious? But this team, I don't think that you need additional skills on any of these players. This is the team. Ka, uh, blood has completed the game. Gang gang. Ice cream, so cold. The, how? How did you get everyone? Did you really open any every pack? That's at least $500 at least, right? Because 10,000 coins is $100. I, I don't know. Uh, usually these packs are like you're not getting anyone uh, unless you're opening 5,000 coins spins, doing 5,000 coin spins. Maybe you could be lucky one or two packs, but not for every pack that you're opening. But that's fair enough. If you guys are enjoying the game, like who am I? Like, I'm not even judging. I'm just saying that this team plays well, and I know that um, Common Wiper has won a few contests. Uh, I think he won the best goal, so he knows how to use these cards. That's the most important part. I see the stack teams, I face them online, and I feel like it's so embarrassing. Like you're, you're, you, you can't really, you're not using these cards to their fullest potential, using them out of position, and this is a very attacking lineup. Although it may work for you, right? Uh, Snyder may be helping you in defense. Who knows? But Date Neymar, not really. So maybe, I mean. Yeah, but you have so many good players bench. Like, imagine having big time Messi and Mbappe and still there on the bench. But that just goes to show how broken this Rashford is. Like, this Rashford is probably the highlight in this team for me. One of the best big time cards I have ever faced against. He's just deadly and his stats are su suggesting that he's phenomenal, right? Off the bat, if you're out allocating them, this Rashford would be getting like 85 finishing. He's crazy fast, like 90 something acceleration and speed. And it's just like... It's, it's impossible to stop him. He's great at dribbling too. It's just like amazing card. Uh, and pairing him with Van Boosten. And Van Boosten is going to be doing the damage. That's an amazing card. Uh, amazing team. I just... Uh, nothing nothing I can suggest. And really, my feedback was uh, negligible for you this time. Because you guys know how to build your teams. And there's a lot of teams left. Like you see, I can scroll for a long, long time. I can see the memes. And I can see, of course, your teams too. A lot of teams are still left and uh, I will be reviewing those hopefully in the next video if it will be ever released. It all depends on you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next. Peace.